Hi, I'm Joe James. And in this video, I'm going to give you an introduction to Python data structures. We're going to cover lists, tuples, sets, and dictionaries. And we're also going to cover strings a little bit. And we're going to use Jupyter Notebook, J-U-P-Y-T-E-R, Jupyter Notebook. I have a Jupyter Notebook that I'll post on my GitHub site. I'll post a link to that so you can download the code and run it. If you don't have Jupyter Notebook, you should, you should install it. Just go to jupyter.org with a Y. They have instructions on how to install it. So it's really easy to set up and use Jupyter Notebook. And if not, you can also go to my GitHub site. You can view the code. You can copy and paste it and, and run it in whatever other application you want. So let's dig in. First, we have sequences. Uh, both strings, lists, and tuples are all sequence types in Python. So all of these features that we're going to cover right now apply to all of these types. And I have some examples both with string and list, but I didn't put tuple examples in here. So indexing. So you can access any item in a sequence using its index. And the index is, goes inside of a square bracket. Indexes always start with zero for the first element. So for a string, if we have x equals frog, that's just a string x, and we print x of three, that's going to give us the, the uh, fourth item because we start counting with the f is 0, and g is going to be the third item. So we see we print out a g. And then we can get any, any item from that list we want. In lists, if we have uh, three different strings in the list x, pig, cow, and horse, and we want to get the oneth item, which is actually the second item, cow, we can print x of 1, and that gives us cow. So that's indexing. And then slicing, we can slice out substrings, sublists, subtuples using indexes. So the way we slice is using in square brackets again, start to end plus one and step. And step is optional. And we say end plus one because the end value is non-inclusive. So if we print x one to four, it's actually going to print items one, two, and three. So if x equals computer, this is a string, Items 1, 2, and 3 are going to be OMP, and you can see OMP prints out here. And if we print x1 to 6 in step of 2, that means every other item. So item number 1, 3, and 5, OPT. And then we can print items 3 onward, and this means to the very end, 3 to the very end, which is actually the fourth item, P, P-U-T-E-R. And then if we print uh, colon 5, x colon 5, that means from the beginning up until the fourth item. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So the first five items, compu. And if we print the last item, we can just use a negative 1 in the square brackets. If we print x negative 3 onward, that means the last three items. So ter. And then if we print x colon to negative 2, that's going to print from the very beginning, because we have nothing before the colon, to start from the beginning, up until the last two items. So ER are not printed. So slicing is pretty easy. Just remember that it's non-inclusive in the second one, and the step is optional. Adding and concatenating. We can combine two sequences of the same type. In other words, we can't combine a string and a list, but we can combine two strings or two lists by using a plus sign. So x equals horse plus shoe. That's going to give us horseshoe. So when we print x, we get horseshoe. And then when we have two different lists, we can use the plus sign to add them together and combine them into one list. So pig, cow, horse. Multiplying basically multiplies the, the string or the list or the tuple. If we have x equals bug and we multiply that by 3, we get bug, bug, bug. There's not any spaces or anything because we don't have any spaces in our string. So it just multiplies by 3. And then if we do the same thing with a list, we, where we have 8, 5 to start in the list, and we multiply that by 3, we're going to get 8, 5, 8, 5, 8, 5. So a six-item list. Checking membership. We can test whether an item is in or not in a sequence using the in keyword or not in keyword. So if we want to find out if u is in x, uh, this is a Boolean test. It's going to test either true or false. And since u is in this uh, bug, it prints out true. 
and cow not in y. Well, cow is in y, so cow in y would return true. Cow not in y is going to return false because cow is in y. So checking membership is pretty easy. Iterating. So if you want to iterate through the items in a sequence, if we have x equals 7, 8, 3, let's uh, a simple little numeric list here for item in x. And you can put any variable name here you want for item. I use the word item, but it doesn't matter. And then print out item. And 7, 8, 3, we see we, we get each one of the items printed out. If you want the index and the item, you can say y equals 7, 8, 3, and then for index comma item in enumerate y. And mind you, this only works in Python 3. Some of these things are not going to work in Python 2. Uh, but yeah, if you need the index and the item, you can use the enumerate function for each item in the list. It passes the index and the item. And you get 0, 7 for the 0th item, which 7 is, and the number 1th item, which is 8, and the 2th item, which is 3. So that's how to iterate through, two different ways to do that. If you want the number of items in a string or a list or a tuple, you simply use the word uh, len. That's pretty easy. You get the len length of a string or the number of items in a list or number of items in a tuple. In this case, both of them have three. To find the minimum item in the list, and this is minimum item lexicographically, which means uh, if it's numerical, it'll be the smallest number. And if it's a, a, a letter, then it will be the earliest letter. So B is less than U. And here we have string, so it's actually looking at the first letter first, and the first, first letter has the lowest one is cow, so C. So you can get the minimum. You can also get the maximum. That pretty much works the same way. Maximum here is U. Maximum here is pig. The sum, this only works for numerics. So if you have a string, you're going to get an error. But you can get the sum of all the items in a list with a single operation saying print sum of y. Or you can get a sum of a part of the list. Let's say you want the last two items of the list, uh, 8 and 12. You can say print sum of y, and then in square brackets, negative 2 onward. So the last two items in the list. You can combine the slicing that we learned up above and get whatever chunk of sub-items of the list that you want to add up, and you can use this sum function on that. Sorting returns a new list of items in sorted order. It does not change the original list. It returns a new list. So x equals bug print sorted x. Now x is actually still going to be the same because we haven't changed x. We didn't, we didn't assign x equals sorted of x. And here we have a list, pig, cow, horse, and then we print sorted of y. So it gives us a sorted version of this to print out, but again, it's not an in-place sort. It's generating a new list in sorted order. So the original list is unchanged using the sorted function. Count of item returns the count of an item in the list. So if there's more than one, uh, as there is here, for the word hippo, we have two p's. So we do x dot count letter P, and we get two. There are two P's. And here we added the word cow in this list twice. So we do y dot count cow, and we find that there are two cows in the list. If we want to get the index, it's going to give us the index of the first occurrence of an item. So if we do index of P, we're going to get the index of the first P. So h is 0, i 1, first P, 2. So we get a 2 back. And here we do cow, and we get the index of the first cow, which is 1. Unpacking, we can unpack uh, in items of a sequence into in variables. Now the number has to match. So if you have three items in this list, pig, cow, and horse, and we want to assign each of those three items to a separate variable, let's say a, b, and c, we can say a, b, c equals x. And Python will unpack x and assign the items in order to these three variables. Now when we print ABC, we get pig, cow, horse. 